Hi everyone, my name is Katka Nayar and you're watching Synchro Shakti. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because this is where you get all that amazing, amazing stuff to take your life from where it is now to the best version it can be. So go ahead and subscribe right now. So this morning, uh, I was watching the documentary Heal on Netflix, just like many of you have watched it. And I watched it yesterday and then today I was making my family watch it. And after the documentary, we were having this discussion on the prognosis that people are given after they have this diagnosis of whatever illness that they may have. Maybe they have a, an anxiety disorder or a physical illness. Maybe they had cancer or kidney failure or whatever they had. And many times, a, a lot of doctors that, and I'm not saying anything against doctors, anything. I, you know, I think you guys are doing a good job and you know, we're grateful for, for you. And there is a role that Western medicine and pharmaceuticals do play in, in, in certain you know, areas. But a lot of the times what happens is that because someone in the white coat tells the prognosis to someone and says, hey, um, you know, you've got kidney failure and now you only have a certain amount of time to live or you have stage four cancer and so you only 1% survive. Or, you know, so what happens is when you hear the prognosis of whatever illness or disorder you have or, or if it's not related to health, you know, let's say you failed at something or someone said something to you and determined the course of your life and said that this is exactly what's going to happen to you and you believed them and it was negative, what happens is that belief that we put onto that prognosis actually determines the result that we have. So if someone told you that you are not going to, you, you know, you, you're never going to walk again or someone told you that you'll always fail in your life or someone told you something and you believed that because they were an authority figure, what happens is that belief actually creates that very reality. Now, there is all of you, most of you have studied mind-body connections. You know, I love studying mind-body um, connection to understand how the mind affects the body and your healing. So we were having this discussion and there's these two stories that came out now. I have studied hundreds of stories, hundreds of stories of people who have flipped their health around from stage four cancer to completely being cancer free, from people who have healed themselves and even at the at the at the at death's doorstep turned around and come back to life and lived healthy for many, many years. I've heard like maybe more than maybe there are thousands, maybe there are millions of case studies. You know that I know that. At this point, there is no refuting the the connection that the mind has to the body and how our belief actually shapes the way we heal and the way our life actually ends up panning out. So two personal stories came out, which I thought I'd share with you guys today. So this whole thing goes back to whether you should believe your prognosis or whether you should Take your diagnosis, if you're diagnosed with a certain disease or disorder, take it as a wake-up call. Take it as an opportunity to work on yourself, to release those negative traumas, to release those memories, to release your negative reactions, to release the, the deep-held, deep-seated um, pain that you've held. This could, the diagnosis is your opportunity to start working on that stuff and releasing it and to change your diet and to change your lifestyle so you are able to heal yourself, right? But the prognosis, what happens is most people end up believing that whatever the doctor says, you'll never be able to be okay again or you'll never be able to do this again. So the story is of, um, so recently in my family, God rest his soul, uh, someone who is my age um, passed away of cancer, breast cancer. And a lot of debate and discussion was sparked around that. And somebody else in my family who was really, really old, uh, someone walked up to her and said, hey, you had cancer. How did you know? How did you manage to come out of it? And she looked at the person and she's like, I never had cancer. But the truth is that this woman did have cancer and she was dying. And the doctors and everybody told the families to come and told her she was dying. But her mother kept praying to, you know, this invisible connection that we have to everybody. It's called entanglement, right? She started projecting positive vibrations and praying for the healing of her daughter and her daughter miraculously healed and she continues to live even now she's really really old now but she never she the fact is to this day nobody told her that she had cancer nobody told her that she would die nobody plagued her mind with that knowledge they just didn't tell her to this day she had no idea that she had a high i don't know which stage it was but she had cancer and she was dying she was slipping everybody was called to the hospital the doctors knew but she did not know that she had cancer and because of that, she, she didn't plague herself in many ways. And she actually miraculously healed. There's another case study of another person in the family who, who had kidney failure, I think. 
and this person the doctor told on his face you have kidney failure you're not going to live in a, you, max one month you won't live for another you know beyond a month in precisely 20 days he passed away there are so many case studies of people who, i mean the very fact that pharmaceutical industries are testing their drugs on human beings and also having an experimental group who are not given the drug but given a placebo which is nothing is probably just sweet water or just saline water or some something to make them believe that they're taking the treatment and the people who believe that they were getting treated showed significant results of healing even though no medicine was actually given to them and there are millions of case studies like that and it just goes to show you that your mind creates your reality your personality creates your personal reality right so it just kind of came into my mind and I was thinking so strongly about how I, i and i was watching this movie it's called tare zameen par it's a hindi movie and um, i was just watching it and in that the actor he amir khan he says that there's a place somewhere in africa i think i can't remember where if they want to cut a tree if they want to cut a tree and you know they want to build something around there they don't cut the tree but what they do is they start screaming yelling you know negative stuff to the tree they they call it names they say negative things to the tree and the tree automatically dies and gets out of the way so the very fact that our minds the way we think the way we we think we are doomed because of the diagnosis we have of any disease mental emotional physical or we think we are doomed because what somebody else said about our future and about whether we'll be successful or not whether we think we'll be successful or not i think it was henry ford right i forget who it was but they said that whether you think you can whether you think you can't either way you're right because you your personality creates your personal reality so i think that when people go to doctors and they get these diagnoses take it as an opportunity to to heal yourself to remember your mission to remember your the possibility of re, of of changing your lifestyle changing the way you know releasing your emotions or traumas that are accumulating in different parts of your body and creating disease the diagnosis then becomes the opportunity so it's okay take that as your wake up call but do not fall prey to the doom story and saying that you have no way out and that there's nothing else you can do for your life and i think that's also there with relationships and marriage if your family is told you you have to stay with your abusive you know relationship because you know if you if you if you uh, get divorced i'm not telling you to get divorced okay sinkar shakti is not telling you to get divorced i'm not i'm not saying anything i'm just saying don't let what you think may happen or the negative um, results that may come out of it as your life story don't think that you are a victim and that you can't change your reality because if you do that you're going to basically fall down the rabbit hole and never be okay again don't make your decisions based out of fear what i'm trying to say is that there's always opportunity for you to rise there's always opportunity for you to change your your biochemistry change your mindset change your energy you are the architect of your reality you've been given this this thing right here to use right so that was basically my message of mind over matter for you guys today i've seen in my own reality also so many times i have i mean i used to do this as a kid you know i used to pretend to be sick so i didn't go to school and soon enough i would i'd be running a fever or something else i'd have cramps it's my body responded to me believing so deeply trying to pretend that i was not i was sick that my body actually reflected the sickness um as you know today science is showing us that 80% of our diseases are is stress related if you could only understand that stress is not caused by our spouse or our jobs or our economy it's actually caused by our reaction to our jobs our spouse our economy that when we change our perception change our reality change the way we see ourselves the world change our thoughts change our response start working on our inner peace mindful way of life then we change our biochemistry we change our lives we change our health we change our relationships we change our reality so we are the architects i want you to think about this and tell me in the comments if something in this video resonated with you if you liked it if it was valuable because don't just watch this video apply this in your life all right you are the architect of your reality that's my message for you today i love you all and i'll see you soon <laughs> bye